MGF Customs slash reviews. What's up guys, I'm Ross and today is the day. Brick Fair 2012 is this Thursday and um, it is Monday right now. I am leaving tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning at like 6 or 7 a.m. And I have a 12 hour drive ahead of me and it's going to be pretty hectic. The convention itself is going to be absolutely insane. Possibly a little bit overwhelming because last year was pretty insane because there were so many familiar faces from coming from the YouTube community and coming from the Flickr community and it was just so awesome to meet everyone and it was just a, a great time and I was definitely am looking forward to this year's Brick Fair and damn did it come up really fast. It's already here, the year has already gone by and we're heading back down to, or up to Chantilly and Brick Fair is just finally here once again and this year I am not doing things last minute I have everything done. I have my sections for the Battle of Coruscant completely done and I have all my display cases ready to go and everything is going smooth. And right after I'm done with this video, I'm going to go upstairs and edit it and then I'm going to be start packing and uh, we're going to get going here. But uh, if you guys want to know, if you are attending and you want to know where I'll be, I will be at the movie slash TV slash book section. That is where my custom display cases will be. And um, I'll give you a look at the custom minifigure display cases in a minute. But I will be over there. And if you don't know where that is, that's kind of like toward the middle right side of the convention. Um, if you go on David's Flickr photo stream, you can check out that uh, he posted a map there. And that is where my display cases will be. And uh, But I can't promise that I will be there 24-7. I uh, will probably be out and about. I don't. I, last year, I wasn't in one spot all the time. Phone ringing. Okay, sorry about that. But again, so basically what I was trying to say is I'm not going to be exactly in the same spot because I, I want to be able to explore the convention and make sure I don't miss out on anything. So therefore, I can't exactly just stay in one spot the whole time, but I will be there occasionally from time to time. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is just keep an eye out for me because I will also be over by the Battle of Coruscant collaboration mock. Which anyone who are you wondering if, if it's, if it's going to be collaborated with? It's going to be collaborated with me and David. And uh, unfortunately, Nova Corp Super 21 had to bail out due to personal issues. So that kind of sucked. But David and I were able to reorganize the map layout for the mock and everything's still going smooth. So you're going to be able to see it there just without Austin's style of building. So that kind of sucks because I would, it would have really been awesome to see him there. But this, the Battle of Coruscant will be literally right in front of the entrance to your right. So uh, I'm sure when you get there, you'll be, you'll be able to see it pretty well. It's going to be very noticeable and uh, you're, you probably won't miss it. But uh, anyway, you might have already noticed, this is the reveal for my sections on the main channel. And as you can see, I have three buildings here. I have an extensive road with cracks in it. I have ads all over the buildings with uh, arabesque writing on those. I just had to design all those myself to apply onto there. And I think it does definitely bring a lot more color to the mock. And uh, as you can see over here, I have this section right here was built by Nova Corp Super 21, this whole like circular glass window. He built that, so thanks to him. If you guys didn't know, he was at my house all the way down from, he came all the way down from Kentucky to, to uh, hang out, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, he, he built that while he was here, and then I basically finished the building. And uh, you'll notice that there are points of interest. I am going to brutally maul that phone. So like I was trying to say again that I got cut off by my evil phone, there are some pretty awesome points of interest. You can see like I have a pretty cool explosion here, um, nice piece section here. And, you know, just some pretty cool structures and designs and details that really make this mock, my sections at least, look like Coruscant. So um, this actually wasn't my number one choice for a collaboration mock, but it seemed pretty decently appropriate. So we went with it and I think it turned out great. And it also gave me an opportunity to expand my Lego collection, therefore, after this mock, guys, after Brick Fair, I can provide more mocks again. So that leaves an open window for even more to come on my channel. And I think that will be absolutely awesome and it is definitely a great opportunity. But that's not the point here. 
that's pretty much where that's pretty much I summed up where I will be in the, at the convention and where I will. Well, basically, I summed up. <laughs> sorry, guys, a little excited here, Brick Fair. Um, but basically, I summed up what the mock is about and uh, where I will be. So yeah. Now on to the custom minifigure displays. Right down here. Give me a second to set up my camera. <laughs> Okay, and uh, here are my custom minifigure display cases, and these are the ones that I will be bringing to the convention. Unfortunately, these custom minifigures are not for sale, guys. I will have a little note printed out about that to put next to them because, uh, you know, these, these figures take quite a while to make individually, and I can't exactly just mass produce them considering they require a lot of modifications, a lot of uh, hand-painted details, and, you know, just a lot of hard work goes into each one. So being able to mass produce them with a with a web store, that would be quite a challenge that I'm not ready for. So I do apologize, guys. I know I said I might have. Last year I said I probably would have been ready by now. But I guess time will only tell. So anyway, here's what I'll be bringing. And uh, let's get on to this as I move my leg. <laughs> but okay. Here is my traditional display. And this features basically all the figures. This this features all my figures going from the Clone Wars, a few Call of Duty figures. I've got a Jango Fed in there, a ton of Clone Wars characters and Clone Troopers. I've got a Bo Katan in there, Delta Squad in the back, and then I got my Twitter icons up. Or Twitter icons. I've got my social network icons up there, basically giving you guys my names. If, and uh, so when you guys pass by. You can, uh, you know, people who don't, pretty, pretty much people who don't know who I am, they can pretty much uh, choose just as to which social network they would like to follow me on, and uh, makes it more convenient and easier to uh, work with. <laughs> and uh, you can see there's my MGF sig figure that you guys all know and love, and uh, that will be there. So that's pretty awesome. And if you guys didn't know, fatness is right under this curtain. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, all right, now we're gonna take a look at my little badge. And uh, here's my badge, and uh, sorry if the camera's not focusing, but this is what I'll be wearing on my shirt, and uh, I will have a mystery figure that will be revealed right there on my badge, so you can you'll be, be sure to check that out at the convention, because mystery clone trooper will be on my badge, and a lot of you actually already know who it is, it's a season 5 commander, and, hopefully, and that probably gave it away, but he will be on my badge, and if you, want to, if you don't know who he is, um, again, try to find me, and you'll see him on my badge. So, there you go. And again, guys, if you don't know what I look like, be sure to check out my extra channel, because literally you will find absolutely nothing but my face on there. <laughs> so, I, I shouldn't be too hard to find. But uh, then I got my Dark Knight Rises display. And this features my Batman, Catwoman, and Bane. And you might notice it's only half full. That's because there will be three mystery figures that I will be revealing in the in this case. And um, yeah, so I actually already posted a preview for two of those figures on my Flickr. So you can check that out if you haven't already. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and move these. And then I'll also be bringing my Halo Reach Noble Team display. This features my custom painted, hand-painted Noble Team figures that, were, that feature Hazel armor. Hazel, Ar Hazel kind of went downhill since he uh, turned into a psycho. And uh, long story behind that. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so I will be bringing my traditional Noble Team display case that was brought to Brick for Alabama for the first time. And uh, so when you walk by this and you see that they're on the Noble Team statue, you will know that these are not David's Pedro Noble Team. So Pedro 79's Noble Team. So uh, yeah, let's look at that. And uh, knock my badge over and uh, screw a bunch of clones up, no problem. But uh, <laughs> here is... The, this, this is called the, I called it the uh, MGF Customs, like, uh, various figures display case, because it features figures from the Marvel Universe, the Call of Duty Universe, the DC Universe, the Halo Universe, the Tron Universe, and, you know, just all kinds of figures. So, you can pretty much see them all in there, and, uh, yeah, get an idea of what's in there. So, and if you are going to the convention, you're going to be able to get your chance to see all these in person. So, that'll be pretty awesome. And, uh... There's a look at my Avengers display case. I will be bringing these guys as well. My, uh, my upgraded Avengers minifigures since Legos weren't unacceptable. So, there's those. And uh, then I also have 
my Legend of Korra minifigures. These are all completely painted with absolutely no decals and no help whatsoever. Um, I basically had to paint on all the eyes, all their faces pretty much, and basically every, every single thing that defines them as the characters that they are. So these are pretty awesome and you'll be able to see these as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Okay, so there is your look at the displays that I will be bringing for my custom figures. And unfortunately, again, these are not for sale. So, um, you can look, you can't touch. <laughs> you guys know that rule, and unfortunately it applies to these figures. But, uh, I think we have a, someone who's snooping in here. Excuse me. E e excuse me, sir. H have you been, have you been watching the whole time? Fatness? You guys haven't seen Fatness in a while. And now I make him disappear. Okay, so let's uh, let's conclude this so I can get on my way to Brick Fair. Okay, so that pretty much gives you guys a quick look at what I will be bringing to Brick Fair 2012 this week. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be great to meet all you guys. And I absolutely cannot wait because it's, Brick Fair is always one hell of a convention. And it's always my most anticipated four days of the year. And it's going to be definitely very awesome because also JPO97 Studios is going to be there. And he's basically one of my friends who's been in our circle. And uh, my circle, by circle I mean, you know, like Nova Corp Trooper 21, uh, David, and, um, you know, basically everyone who you guys see in the video who, who you know, say so-and-so is here, say hi. You guys, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically, JPO97 Studios is another one of my absolutely great friends. And he actually designed decals for most of my figures. So he will be attending, and that's going to be awesome. But unfortunately, it's almost as if he's replacing Austin because he won't be able to go. So that kind of sucks. I wish we would all, they would all be able to go. But, you know, sometimes you can't get everything. So what can you do? Anyway, I'm going to get going. I have a 12-hour drive ahead of me, and i got to get packing. Um, so if you don't know what I look like, be sure to check out this picture right here. It's on the screen right now. Okay, but uh, yeah, so that is what I look like. If you don't want to take the time, check out my extra channel. But I do recommend you do because I do post vlogs and behind the scenes videos every two days or so. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. And I probably left something else, so left something out that I'll kick myself for later. But um, anyway, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy what I have to show you guys. And um, yeah, and if you don't know uh, one thing, if you don't know where, like how, if you're kind of concerned on how you're going to see my display case, if you want to find them maybe a little faster, there will be a huge MGF Customs banner, which will be hanging right above all my custom minifigures. So that might make it a little easier for you guys to see it, um, because it'll probably be one of the only banners besides vendors' banners. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. And I think I've covered everything. And if you don't know, uh, I will be getting there Wednesday afternoon. And um, I will be going to see The Dark Knight Rises with David in the IMAX theater at like 7.30, I believe. And um, yeah, and then the next morning we're going to get up in Brick Fair time. And uh, I will be staying at the Holiday Inn. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys later. Okay. Brick Fair!